Okay, we'll start off this chapter with something pretty easy. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about superposition. Um, and what I'm going to do that is I'm going to start with a um, uniform applied field. So we're given a uniform applied field. Okay, and that uniform applied field has magnitude, oh, let's call it E. All right, or right, let's call it EA. That'll be a little bit better. Um, and then we want to have a charged sheet in its presence. And a charged sheet. Okay. Um, at an angle. No, no, I don't want it at an angle. Um, perpendicular. To it. Okay, so that's that's basically all. Um, so we have a charge sheet in an applied field. Okay, so we won't draw field lines because that will be uh, premature, let's say. That will show something that I don't want to show. So we've got an, a uniform applied field E, right? That's perpendicular to it. Okay, so what I want to find Oh, okay, so I've got one more condition. That's the total field. On one side of the sheet. Is zero. Okay. And then I find uh, the charge density. So now I have enough um, information to find the charge density on the sheet sigma. Okay. Um, so this is these problems um, that are mostly given to you before you actually uh, come to class are really designed to make sure you remember what's going on with the with superposition and that's all this is is a superposition problem and um, you know I guess we could add in uh, oh let's say a uh, Gauss's law bit uh, but we won't do that basically because you know we've already done this um, for for the sheet We've done Gauss's law over and over and over already. So we already know what the field is from the sheet. So um, our strategy is to, one, find the field from the sheet. And like I said, that's something we just know already. We can do anything we want with that. Um, and two, we are going to go ahead and superimpose the fields. And three, give just a little room, we'll solve for the um, charge density. All right, so we're ready to go with that. So our answer's over here. Um, like I said, we know E sigma pretty well by now. Um, if this is the Z direction, then this is the sine of Z um, times sigma over two epsilon in the Z hat direction, right? So up here, it's it's some, some magnitude in that direction, and here it's the um, 
opposite, same magnitude in the opposite direction. Uh, if we superimpose the two fields, right, that's all we're going to do. Uh, we have EA in the Z hat direction plus, um, well, just go with plus or minus um, sigma over 2 epsilon naught in the Z hat direction. So now, you know, depending on how we, uh, you know, worry about these signs, we could choose whichever one of those is the correct sign. We'll just say this is positive, and so we'll subtract it and say down here um, we cancel, and up here we we um, increase the field. So if we're going to cancel at that point, that means that um, EA minus sigma over 2 epsilon naught is equal to 0. All right. And then we just have to solve for the charge density, which is going to be one of our more complicated events, 2 epsilon naught EA. And that's all we need to do, okay? Uh, so this is really just prepare you for what we're going to do with the images, prepare you with the boundary condition arguments, um, just make sure you remember things about superposition and stuff like that. So we'll get on to the, well, we'll see you in class on Monday and talk about that. And um, then we'll move on to images and then we'll move on to some other aspects of um, the charges near conductors, okay? I'll see you in class.